All right, time to clean this Pro 780. So, question I get asked all the time, how do you keep your grill so clean? I think I get asked that a lot because I use mine just about every day. This one's got a ton of hours on it. You know, they stay clean. I mean, I probably a broken record, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. I mean, I treat this like I do my car. Check the oil, check the tire pressure. You know, you got, there's a lot you gotta do. Um, the more you take care of it, being that these are mechanical and stuff, the less problems you're gonna have down the road. So keeping these vacuumed, you know, the drip tray clean, you know, the pellets full, um, there's a lot to it to make sure that these are always running. And we get it, stuff's mechanical, certain things happen, that's part of it. And that's when your warranty jumps in. So you always wanna make sure that warranty is valid. And But as long as you're on top of things, you're good. So let's clean this bad boy. Okay, so first off, there we go. I used this over the weekend. This is what I got. I'm definitely pulling this drip tray. Some of you, man, I see these go way farther than this. Um, I personally, if I get this going, this stuff here from an old cook, um, what happens is it'll start smoking. See that? And you're gonna get a different smoke. You're gonna get that off-putting smoke of something burning. You're not gonna be getting that blue smoke that you're looking for, for flavor. The flavor you're gonna be getting is extremely off-putting. So sometimes if your food doesn't taste right and this drip tray starts smoking, that's a big part of where you're getting different flavor. It's not from the blue smoke. It's not from the pellets. It's from what's burning down there. So I just make sure I keep that clean. So let me get into this bad boy. Okay, before I pull this grill grate out, um, I don't have my wood scraper. I gotta find it. But what I like to do is ball up some tin foil and go over the top. You can see all the stuff on the grill grate. I just like to take a piece of tin foil. It's way better than a wire brush. It's not leaving any little pieces of wire on your grill grate. Um, so either a wood scraper or a piece of tin foil. And you can see it does the job just great. Let the tin foil away and you're good to go. Hit it both ways and uh, ready to roll. Okay, now to line the drip tray. And if you can't get a hold of the Traeger liners, that's okay. I get this roll of tin foil at Costco. It's wide enough. It's perfect. It's perfect for this drip tray and all the drip trays. Um, so this tin foil will go a long way. You want to go longer than what the drip tray is so that you can touch it. And this is pretty much wide enough, as you'll see, before I can fold over the sides like so. Pretty easy there. Same thing over here. Just kind of like follow the shape of the drip tray, fold it down. I like to take it, fold it underneath. It's okay that we come off there. And then a little bit underneath, there we go. So if you can't get a hold of the drip liners, tin foil works just as good. Now that we got the drip tray out, time to get inside. So I get asked a lot like the barrel, like I don't mess with that. Um, I'd imagine at some point, maybe a deep cleaning, but I've really never deep cleaned any of my triggers. And you guys know, or some of you know, how many hours I get on these. Um, so my main concern is where the the drip, the grease and everything that's going down that drip tray into the bucket, into this little channel here. I wanna make sure that that, cause this can really get gummed up after time. So you wanna make sure this is clean and it's actually pretty clean. And then you can see where the chute is. Just, I kind of take like a flathead screwdriver and uh, I end up just kind of scraping all that out and let it fall into the bucket. So keeping that clean. And then obviously we want the fire pot clean because there's the heating element that's gonna light your pellets up. So we wanna make sure that's all clear.
Okay, so we got it vacuumed. A lot of people ask about in between these gaps here. Know that you got two okay. screws. You got one there, one back there. Keep these screwdrivers that come with your Traeger. Take those two screws out and this will easily be removed. So I'll show you that real quick and then you can vacuum what's underneath and get it right back together. Okay, I've already removed this back side. Um, we'll get this, this screw. See, they just come right out. See this here? Boom, pull that up. That's it. Now you can vacuum all underneath, around a few minutes, get it back on, wipe any of that extra grease that might be down there. You're good to go. Take a closer look real quick. Simple. Two screws, a few seconds. Um, get all that cleaned up and you'll be good to go. Okay, we've got it back together. You can see the fire pot. We got the where the heating element right there is, the, the hot rod, that's right there. That's not gonna be a problem when the pellets fall down in there to try and get that initial fire going. So we wanna make sure that's always freed up. See, I got a vacuum now. I wanna make sure here's where the, um, the drippings come. We're full, I need to empty that and start all over again. So making sure that's always clean. And then obviously, I just want to make sure I always got pellets in here. So it doesn't always have to be full, at least half. Um, that way you know you're good, especially on a long cook. Um, and now it's just simply getting it all back together. Okay. This wasn't planned. I wanted to show you guys what I almost do every time I clean this. So right now it looks like we're ready to go. It's all vacuumed out, new foil. We got pellets in the hopper. We're about ready to go. Boom. What did I forget? That dang heat deflector that goes underneath the drip tray. That is important. That is key. If, if you don't have that in, you're going to have some crazy temps. So now I need to pull this back apart, get that back in, and then we're ready to go. Okay, there you go. So when I get asked all the time, Kendrick, how do you keep it so clean? Because I just maintain it. Like I said, it's like anything. The more you keep it clean, the more you take care of it, the longer it's gonna last. So, just stay on top of it. I would say three to five fast cooks, vacuum it, keep an eye on that drip tray. If there's too much on it, just change that foil or that drip liner. Um, that fire pot is key to keep that heat rod clean to where when new pellets go in there, it's gonna fire right up. So, keeping that bucket down there where the drip drippings go, um low empty the best you can keep an eye on everything so it's all key to an awesome cook so there you go there's my traeger maintenance for you guys